WON YouTube Networks is now on Facebook. Check it out. WON Sports in association with ESPN Plus. Welcome to the St. Francis Terriers Basketball, powered by EA Sports NCAA Basketball. Tonight is the Battle of Brooklyn in a big Northeast Conference rivalry between the St. Francis Brooklyn Terriers and the Long Island Brooklyn Blackbirds. A rivalry that dated back ages is now about to take, to take place here in the home court of the Terriers. And it's won by the Terriers in their red jerseys. Usually they wear them away, but this is a special occasion. It is a rivalry. And that one already a turnover delivered by Bucknell. And there's an alley you can take the flop. Rebound, the shot is off the glass. Samuel with the rebound. Gets it to Winners. Winners slams it down. And it's two to nothing, Terriers just like that. Already we begin the game with action. Maynard is the point guard for LIU. Pass on to one of his big men. We'll tell you the names of some of these players in just a moment. The fadeaway is off the rim, no good. Samuel with the rebound. All the way to Winners. Winners with the long pass to Bucknell. Kicks it out to Maxwell. Maxwell for three, bangs it through. And it's 5 nothing, St. Francis. St. Francis right now coming right now in the midst of a two-game losing streak. And trying to break out of it. And so far, very good start to it. Here's the fadeaway off the rim, no good. Rebound Maxwell. Here comes Winners. Kicks it out again. Pop way outside. Bingo! It is 8 nothing. With 8.36 to go in the first half, the Terriers on an 8-0 run to begin this game. May not the point guard, kicks it out. LIU trying to get on the board for the first time in this game. Here's a long three, off the rim, no good. That's where the long throw, he threw it out of bounds. Intended for a Go ahead, slam or layup, but unfortunately, the ball is thrown the bounds the first turnover of the game. So LIU will have the ball, make it the first turnover of Terriers of the game. Terriers already have four rebounds. LIU has none so far. Here comes Maynard. Still looking. Kicks it out to the outside point line. One of the LIU players is double teamed. Trying to handle that ball. Can't find anybody to pass it to. Still dribbling. Now by Penn and Winters, inside for the big man. He missed that easy shot. Rebound taken by the Terriers. They're fifth for the game. Long pass to Pam from outside again. This one's too strong. Rebound taken by LIU, the first one of the game. Again, we'll tell you the player's name of LIU in just a matter of moments. We only know one. Here's a two, and that one missing. Samuel. The Buckle, buckles again, kicks it out to Samuel. Pound from downtown. Again, too strong on the rebound taken by LIU. Maynard, the point guard for the Blackbirds, has it. Maynard, looking for an open receiver. He does inside the lane. And the fadeaway is blocked. Rebound by Maxwell. Here come the Terriers the other way, kicked it out to Winners for two, and it rolls in and out. Third straight shot the Terriers have missed. And another rebound taken by the Blackbirds. Inside the lane, the fadeaway two, and it rolls out. LIU can't buy a bucket for anything. Bucknell from inside, kicks it out to Winners from outside for three. He bangs it through. 
It is 11 nothing Terriers. And the third assist of the game for the Terriers. And a timeout taken by LIU, a must needed one. 6.24 to go in the first half. It's all Terriers. They're up to 11 nothing here on UPN 5. Stay with us. January 7, 2011, the New York White Sox signed free agent first baseman Adam Dunn. Adam Dunn, of course, being in the league since 2002, never made the postseason. But after joining the Sox in 2011, he finally did. He has been the White Sox postseason home run leader and the most clutch postseason hitter in White Sox history. New York's version of Mr. October, Sox Baseball. Catch it on WON. On the plus 5.2, WON, we're not on UPN 5, so I want to straighten that out for all of you. We're on the plus tonight, and right now, here on the plus, it's all Terriers. As they lead LIU 11 to nothing in this long-standing rivalry. LIU will inbound this one. That's Galloway, I believe. That's on to one of his teammates, who's dribbling the ball, held by Samuel and Maxwell. It's out again, this time to Maynard. Maynard moving in, puts up the shot, he's fouled. First foul of the game for, against the Terriers. And he will go behind the line to shoot two with a shooting foul. The LIU with a chance to try to get on the board for the first time here tonight. Atunwe Maynard, who scores 5.6 a game so far, looking for the first point for LIU and he gets one. It's a 10-point game, 11-1. Blackbirds in their road, black jerseys. Almost looks like the Brooklyn Nets road jerseys. He missed the second one, it remains 11-1. Samuel lost the ball, second third turnover by the Terriers. Third rebound, and of course, the Terriers got eight rebounds while LIU has three. Maynard. It out to another player. I'll tell you his name in a matter of moments. Looks to be Manny. Or Hartley. Play clock down to nine seconds. He still hasn't taken a shot. Bounces it back to Maynard. Maynard kicks it out again with a shot and he's got it. Maynard with the three points. He's the only one that scored in this game for the Blackbirds. And another turnover and it's Maynard. And Maynard will take it to the house with a two-hander. He has all five points for the Blackbirds and it's all of a sudden 11-5 ball game. Long pass to winner. Off to Bucknell. Maxwell. Moving inside. Kicks out to Samuel for two and he's got it. 13-2. 13-5 is the score. One under five minutes to go in the ball game. In the first half of the ball game. Maynard with the only points of the game for the Blackbirds, looking. It's it out to his, one of his teammates. He got Galloway or Manning, we'll tell you in a moment. And another turnover possibly, yes. Samuel saves the ball from going out of bounds. Kicks it out to Maxwell, Maxwell for two off the glass, no good. Maynard with the rebound. The fourth of the game for the Blackbirds. They're actually still in this. 13 to five is the score. Long pass to the man with the afro and he can't buy a bucket. Pan with the long pass into the rebound. Maxwell kicks it out, the winners for three and he rolls that one in and out. Rebound Bucknell, Bucknell puts it off the glass and it rolls in. 10 point lead for the Terriers with 4.04 four to go in the first half before halftime. And we're going to remind you, in halftime here on the press, we'll have the Super Bowl 4 official trailer. You can watch Super Bowl 4. On the U. So check out the trailer in halftime. Hayes with the bucket. Here comes Samuel for three. It's too strong. Remains an eight-point game. Galloway. Dribbling up to the man with the afro, the one hooker's good. That's Hartley, and he gets the first bucket of the game for himself. Here's the kickoff for winners. Maxwell moving in the pound. 
Down to 3.10 to go. Oh, was it a turnover? Almost was. Kicks it out. Winners from downtown fades the three in. Eight points tonight, three for five from the field. It's an 11 point lead for the Terriers with under three minutes to go. Maynard's got it. Harley moving inside the paint. And Maynard's still in control of this one. Kicks it out to Galloway. Galloway looking, looking, putting up the shot off the glass, so good. Well past the winner. Winner's got to kick it out, he does. Kicks out the pop, but way outside, too strong. Down to 2.30 to go in the first half. It remains an 11 point lead for St. Francis of Brooklyn. Hartley. Looking, kicks it out. Back to Hartley, Hartley for two. That's too strong, no good. Buckner with the long pass. There goes Pond, and he lays it up and in. 20 to nine is the score with 2.09 to go in the first half. Here's Maynard, and he lays that one in. Back to a nine-point game. He has seven points tonight. He's the leading scorer for the Blackbirds. Time for three. No doubt about that one. The three ball is just killing LIU and blowing them off the building at the moment. With 143 and time to go in the first half, it's 23 to 11, St. Francis. Hartley with the shot. That's too strong, no good. Winner, Dobson starts here. Moving in for Samuel with the authentic slam. 25-11 St. Francis continues to pull away from LIU with 1.15 to go in the first half. Defense, 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 defense. Here's a shot, it is off the rim, no good. Rebound taken by Hartley off the glass and in. And it's 25-13, still a 12-point game. Long pass to Samuel. Kicks it out to Palm for three again. And rattles in. Everything falling for the Terriers with under a minute to go. 28-13 is the score. Palm with 11 points for St. Francis. LIU trying to get something going. Maynard kicks it out. Here's a shot, that's too strong. Buck now the winner. Winner stops and starts again, kicks it out the palm, who's done it all day, and he misses that three badly. Under 20 seconds to go, LIU can hope for a final shot, but Harley slams it through with 13 seconds remaining in the first half. Palm gets the shot off, and he rattles that three in. With five more seconds to go. Maynard from way out, no good. St. Francis blowing the door off this game, and the three ball has done the damage. It's halftime here in Brooklyn Heights, and the score, Terry 31, Long Island 15 here on the front. Stay with us for halftime. I've been waiting for you. We have a little chat to have, so why don't you come with me to the couch, or I'll splatter your brains all over this wall. If Supergirl doesn't come by 4 p.m. today, I will detonate a bomb I have installed at the Metropolis Grand Central Terminal. Is Miss Kent going to relay the message to Supergirl? I think she will. She had a very concerned look on her face when I left the place. That's just what I wanted to hear. I knew that bomb threat would work. You've had your little fun. 
Now come out and show yourself. Eva will not triumph today! I'm going to get even with you and it will be sooner rather than later. You think you've seen the badass side of me? You haven't seen nothing yet. Back here in Brooklyn Heights, the home of the St. Francis Terriers of Brooklyn. It's all St. Francis, 31-15 is the score. Yours truly, John the real guy to join us for Terriers basketball. Powered by ESPN Plus and NCAA Basketball 10 from EA Sports here on the Plus 5.2. As that shot goes in, Hayes with the two. Long pass to nobody. Don't know what that about the fans of Boone. Got a large lead. You don't want to make foolish turnovers like that. And unfortunately for the Terriers, they just made that. Winners in our mainer. Hazen Hartley near the paint area. Haley, one hooker off the glass, no good. Samuel with the rebound, and here comes Maxwell. Maxwell stops and starts, moves in, that ball is bouncing, who's got it? Samuel dies and he puts it in! 33-17 is the score, with 9.06 to play in the game. Maynard to Harley, Harley shot off the glass, he is fouled. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. Second foul of the game committed by St. Francis, Roy Hartley. Averages 15.7 a game. Hasn't averaged that much tonight. And his first free throw is off the mark. The main 13-17. Second one on his way. He missed them both badly. Samuel kicks it out of winners. Winners back to Pond. Inside is Samuel. Samuel puts up the shot and he's got it through. 35 17 is the score. With 8.40 to go in the game. And LIU right now just can't seem to buy a bucket. Inside for Hartley. Hartley with the circus shot and he puts it through. 35-19 is the score, and there's Samuel, the one hooker bounces in. He looked like he got fouled by two defenders, but no call by the referee. Is Maynard turning around, spinning around, he's fouled as he shoots, and he'll go behind the line to shoot two. He only has one point out of the free throw line here tonight. And now he has two. One shot left in the shooting foul free throw situation. And he got them both. It's 37-21. It's still a ball game, folks. No question about it. When this kicks out to Maxwell. Maxwell. Bounce it in inside, bounce it inside for Buckles off the glass, no good. Rebound by Haynes, up to Maynard. Long pass to a big man here who hasn't gotten the point yet. Maynard looking, twisting, turning, he's got an open man, one hook off the glass and in. Galloway with his first point of the game. And here's Buckles with his own two, he misses that one badly. Hayes with the rebound up to Galloway. Now we know all the names of LIU players. Galloway, held by Palm. Galloway looking, pass on to Manning, who's the shooting forward, has not scored at all in his game. Pass on to Maynard, back to Galloway, inside for Harley. Harley looking, putting up the two, it's no good, rebound, Hayes off the glass, get in! 
It's now a 12 point game. With 7.08 to go in this game and counting. Maxwell going inside for Samuel. Inside for Buckles. Buckles one hooker is good. 39 25 is the score. Here comes Maynard. In on Hartley. The shot. He misses that one badly. Rebound is Bucknell. Winner stopping and starting up. Putting up the tray. It's too strong. Hartley with the rebound. Up to Galloway. In on Manning. Make it Maynard with the ball. Maynard's lucky. To Galloway. To Hartley for two. He misses that one badly. And Hayes is blocked. Hartley with the rebound. Off the glass. It's still off the line. Rebound taken by St. Francis. Winner's got it. Winner's for three. Bangs it through. Down to 6-10 to go in the game. LIU trying their best to stay in pace here. Galloway looking, stopping, moving in, moving out, putting up the shot is off the rim, but he is fouled, and it'll be a shooting foul. Ivan Galloway scores 18.8 a game. First shot is good. Trying to keep this club in the game right now. With the way the Terriers are shooting threes, it's going to be hard. He got big, big free throw points there. Winners. And he missed, he misplayed that one, and it's a turnover. And a big one for the Terriers, and a big one to try to convert it for LIU. LIU Brooklyn down 42-27 against St. Francis of Brooklyn. Long pass is Galloway wide open with the shot. And it's 42-29. And the Terriers are gonna have to talk it over. LIU is mounting a comeback. They're still down by a couple, but they're showing straight and hard. 42 to 30 is the score here in Brooklyn Heights. Supergirl has the ability to save millions upon millions of lives with her great superpowers. Americans have the ability to save thousands of lives, one at a time. 16,000 people die each year in car crashes that don't have to. Safety belts could save their lives. Safety belts could also prevent thousands from being horribly disfigured or crippled for life. So buckle up. Your life is in your hands. The Sox meet the Dodgers live from Glendale, Arizona, Sunday, March 15th at 1 on UPN 5. 42-29 is the score. I said 30, but you're still around that ring. Here on the plus 5.2, guys, glad you could join us here. For Terriers basketball, an exciting contest between two Brooklyn rivals and two big Northeast Conference rivals. Cam is looking held by Galloway. He's going to put up the tray for way outside. That's way off. 42-29 is the score. We saw this happen in Idaho a couple of nights ago. And big shots were missed by the Terriers. Hartley with the circus shot. It rolls in. It's an 11-point game with 5.08 to go. Long pass. It's Maxwell with the slam. Maynard with the ball, he's got it. That's it on, inside. And the one hooker by Hayes goes through. It's 44-33 with 4.45 to go. Long pass to Pam. Inside for Maxwell, that's on the Buckhills with the one hooker, it's too strong. Hayes with the rebound, Galloway long pass to Maynard. Maynard on to Hartley. Hartley with the circus shot is no good. Rebound by Samuel. Here's winners to Bucknell. Up now with the long pass inside for Samuel. Samuel double team puts up the shot. It rattles in. 46-33 is the score. With 4-10 to go in the game, and LIU needs buckets and needs some stops. 
They've got an opportunity for stops, but have not cashed in. That one was almost intercepted, and Galloway making Manning with his first points of the game, and it's 46-35. Buckner is hit, and he loses his handle on the ball. Here comes Maynard, moving in, moving out, and that's Manning. Manning stopping and starting again. Manning. Held by a Terriers defender. Maynard and LIU has not taken a three. That shot is off the line, no good. Here come the Terriers the other way. Pam stops and starts, puts up a three. It's too strong. Down to 3.29 to go in the game. Still an 11 point game for both squads. Here's Hayes moving in. Bounce pass to Manning who missed that one badly. He should have got that one, that was an easy tray. Speaking of that tray, pop away out, still too strong. He get him from outside, but tonight, not the case. Here's Hayes moving in, puts up the two, he can't get it. LIU can't buy a bucket right now. And it's intercepted, and apparently LIU stepped out of bounds for no call. Here's Galloway off the glass, it still won't go. Pam lost the handle there, and winner's got it. Off to Samuel, kicks it out. Maxwell faked it, now puts up the three. That's too strong. Down to 2.30 to go. LIU, uh, uh, St. Francis can't buy a bucket. Opportunity for the Blackbirds, but they can't seem to buy a bucket either. Hartley, fadeaway is too strong. He sends down the rebound. And it's all of a sudden a nine point game. And already a turnover. You can see that one from a mile away. Winners, the unfortunate man. Things are getting dicey here at Terrier's Court. And LIU has the ball down by nine. 46 37 is the score. LIU has not shot from three point range at all tonight. Here's Maynard to Manning. Manning up the rim and in. 46 39 is the score. Winners the Bucknell. Bucknell, oh, it's a turnover. A turnover on the pass. And LIU has the numbers here. Manning moving in, moving out, looking. Looking for a defender to pass it to. He's fouled and he'll go behind the line. With 1.41 to go. And things are beginning to look dicey for the Terriers. We saw this against Idaho a couple of weeks ago. Manning with two big shots coming up. First one is good, it's a six point game with 1.41 to go. Second one on his way, he missed that one. Six point game, so it counts for something. Winner, moving in, moving out is Maxwell. Maxwell to Palm. Palm, looking to Maxwell, down to 1.28 to go. Both teams have a ton of timeouts. Long pass again. Maxwell to Palm. Palm looking for an open receiver, trying to run down this clock. Cannot do it. Palm for three. That's too strong. Rebound Hartley. Galloway moving into Hayes. Hayes, they better not take their sweet time. They're only down by six, and with about a minute to go, they're going to need to do something here. Maynard moving inside, twisting and turning, laying it up. He missed that one badly. Winner, long pass. It's winners again, long three. That's too strong. Down to 45 seconds, and a timeout taken by LIU. It's a six point game, folks. This game's not over. LIU munching a comeback. Terry is up by six. hell is this? Who are you? And how did you get in here? I've been waiting for you. We have a little chat to have, so why don't you come with me to the couch, or I'll splatter your brains all over this wall. If Supergirl doesn't come by 4 p.m. today, I will detonate a bomb I have installed at the Metropolis Grand Central Terminal. 
be at my pool house lair at 4 p.m. sharp or else. We'll be responsible for thousands of lives lost. Signed, Mark Luther. Back here at Terrier's Court in Brooklyn Heights, yours truly, John Sabir, is glad to join us for an exciting contest between two historic colleges here in Brooklyn. We're glad you're watching us here on the Plus 5.2 WON. As we return to action for the final 40 seconds of the game, it's a six-point game, and LIU cannot take their time and need to make buckets. Mater for way out, slams it down. Terriers have no choice but to call a timeout. It's a four-point game with 35.8 to go. We're going to keep it here. And I want to remind you that tomorrow, the Terriers take on Quinnipiac at Connecticut, but they'll take them on again next Thursday. And we'll have the game over on the plus. We'll have it right here on the plus next week. It'll be right here at Terriers Court. So, Quinnipiac Bobcats versus Terriers next Friday. Right here on the plus. Time is running out for both squads, and they're going to foul. And that's a big play here. They'll pass to the winner. And, oh, Samuel took a desperate three, and he almost got that one. And another timeout taken by LIU. I don't know what Samuel was thinking. A 20-second timeout has taken place. But we saw this in Idaho. And, and I mean, you want to make it to the tournament. You got to not make these kind of stupid plays. Down to the final 30 seconds. It's a four-point game. All eyes on both teams right now. Manning moving in, and he slams it for the next ball. Two-point game. And LIU immediately fouls with 21.1 to go. Terriers have not make up, made a bucket in a long time. They've been stuck with 46. And down to the final 20 seconds. And again they foul. They're trying to get to the line here. Long pass winners, long three, knocks it down! Pretty close! Time out of IU! They did not expect that. My goodness. So all hope could be lost to the Blackbirds if they don't get a bucket here. They have not shot a three at all. And they're, waste, they're taking their sweet time. Galloway, big three, he missed it. Rebound taken by the Terriers here. The foul buck now, but I think that's all she wrote. That three by winners was the dagger. Here it is again. And that's the proof to be the turning point in this game and possibly the season. The half man substitution, this credit what credit is due. LIU did everything right. But that three just absolutely buried them. And that's a turnover. But uh, it won't matter. 2.3 to go. LIU called the timeout, but I think they know this is all she wrote. That's going to do it. Desperation shot not even close. St. Francis holds on and ends their two-game winning streak by defeating LIU. 49 to 44. What a game this was. We'll wrap it up and play it tonight. Play the game in a matter of moments. This is Kelly's basketball right here on the plus. Stay with us. We'll have a wrap up in just a moment. There's only one man who delivered astronomical numbers all in the postseason, the 2010 postseason. And that man was Big Pops himself, Willie Starchel, the hero of the 2010 World Series, 
posting up a 536 average with 12 home runs and 25 RBIs all in one postseason. Willie Stargell, the commanding presence of a team leader, of a winner. Sox baseball, catch it on WON.